Hey guys, this is Apple Gamer 24 7 I'm here to give you guys a Final Cut Pro X tutorial today. I know a lot of people have been asking me to do my more Final Cut Pro videos, but this is the first of many more. If you guys have any specific things you want me to cover, like color grading or color correcting or best export settings, just leave it down below and I'll make some videos on it. But in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to blur a face in Final Cut Pro 10. It's fairly simple to do, and I thought this might help people that are in need to want to do this. So um, let's start out Final Cut Pro here. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to create a new project. Um, you can call this whatever you want. I'm just going to call this uh, sensor just because we're going to sensor our face. Um, my video settings are at custom at 720p HD. Uh, the resolution is 1280 by 720 obviously. And the rate, uh, the frame rate uh, is usually going to be at 29.97 or it even might be at 25. But I moved mine down to 30 frames per second. Uh, my audio preferences are set at uh, surround sound audio channels. Uh, the audio sample rate is at 48 kilohertz, and the render format is at Apple ProRes 422. So after all that's been done, uh, click OK. This should create the timeline for us. Then over here, I have a new project already set up. So we want to import some files. So I click the Import Files button and navigate to wherever you have uh, your video file set up. I have mine in my downloads folder and I'm going to hit import from here. So after your um, video file has been imported, this is just a video I had on uh, YouTube that I decided to use in this example. So what you're going to do is you're going to skim this video until you find a part uh, where the face is pretty um, good. Um, I'm going to put it right here, um, as you guys can see. It doesn't have to be long or short, just get it so where the face is uh, relatively like that. So what you're going to do is you're going to drag it down to the timeline. And what I'm going to do, in my case, because I, this video has audio, I'm just going to drop the audio from this track so you don't hear the, any of the audio. But what you're going to do now is um, you're, make sure you have your inspector open by clicking this I button. Um, usually, if you don't have it, your Final Cut Pro will look like this, but I usually have mine open. And you want to navigate to the Effects tab, which is right here. And down below in the search field, you want to type in Sensor. Um, should be the first one that pops up. And what you want to do is you want to drag it on your clip. Um, so we're going to move this back to the beginning. And here's the center right here. Uh, if you click on the video and the inspector, you get a lot more of what you can do with it. If you click in the middle, you can drag it around. Um, you can also pixelate it. You can do a blur instead of actual real face. Uh, the amount of blur and also the radius, uh, you can change that as well. Or you can do um, a darken, which is pretty cool. Um, but I like the pixelated one looks a little bit better so we're just gonna um, change that in the radius make this a little bit there we go you don't have to get really precise but this is just how it looks like for here um so yeah guys this is pretty much it so we're just gonna play it through make sure this uh, looks good to your liking um so I'm gonna skip through here now what you want to do now is you want to skip through until you see a point where the effect doesn't really work. I'm just gonna navigate through here. I'm probably gonna get rid of a lot of this extra footage. Just make sure this works out the way you want it. Actually it works quite well. So we're just gonna just limit this clip down just by um, dragging it out. But you guys don't have to do this. This is in just my case. Keep going. Alright, since we have the video file that you want, all you gotta do is the export, and you can export this in uh, HD, 1080p, whatever you want to do. Um, I'll do a separate video on exporting later, but I'm just gonna hit uh, save after I get my export things the way I want it. Hit next. It's gonna go on my desktop. It's gonna take too long to render out.
And after that is completed, you can watch your final product in QuickTime or anything and just see how it all works. So there, guys, that's basically how you do this. This is fairly easy to do. Um, if you guys want to know how to do this more advanced, like how to animate it, you can animate this so um, as you're moving, the effect moves with it. I can do a separate tutorial on that. But anyway, guys, that was my video. Hope this find, I hope you found this helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video.